Okay, I just kind of wanted to go over what I want to do this weekend. Um, first thing I've done is I've upgraded the seat to a uh, guy's. Uh, this is a leather leather seat. And I've custom mounted uh, this to the thing. I'm going to cut these off. But uh, I've mounted this directly to the frame here. It's actually bolted uh, right there. So I have the front mount right there. This is actually a rear uh, luggage rack mount in the back. And it goes um, up around here. And then this mounts to uh, this frame. And these are actually uh, adjustable up and down so I can, uh, you know, adjust the tilt. Um, I have all the electronics out. Uh, I had a uh, issue with one of my voltage, my 60 volt to 12 volt power supply. Uh, fried uh, the front headlight, the back headlight, and the radio. Which is okay, I'm going to be upgrading stuff anyway. But I've changed out uh, the main breaker. And this now has a uh, an actual uh, industrial style uh, 60 volt breaker uh, on that side, and then uh, here you can see the three the three batteries um, hookups, and so you'll have your first set, which would be the first one, the second, third one. So the first, second, third, and so these are all linked together. Uh, coming around here, I'm going to upgrade the radio uh, to uh, this new style, um, and it's going to have a USB thing right here and this will be a powered USB so that'll be for the radio and this will be just for uh, like a cell phone or something if you want to wire it to your pocket or something and this is a 12 volt uh, power supply uh, the the uh, Garmin GPS has to have the original 12 volt uh, adapter for the traffic to work so I'm going to use that um, here's the the new power supply uh, it's like a 20 amp uh, power supply that's 60 to 12 volt and then this will be where the uh, um, radio is mounted uh, and then you have the entire front of the compartment right here for speakers um, but yeah so uh, this will be new I got a new uh, headlight uh, it's actually a three wire so I'm actually gonna try and wire it uh, high and low um, let's see, this is the uh, fuse break, fuse breaker block that I'm going to be fusing all the different components with. Uh, I got a new uh, Rotair light. Um, but uh, yeah, the bottom, uh, this will be the power supply for the uh, lower part of the uh, USB. And then I wanted to take a quick uh, look at my uh, drawing for the uh, electrical. Uh, basically, it all starts right here. These are all uh, all six of my batteries. So you have a ground here, and these are all linked together. So you get 20 volts, 40 volts, 60 volts. So right here, you're at 60. And then I have my voltage gauges, which will tell me you know, if it's 20 volts um, at start, and then it'll drop down to about 18 volts. And then once it's down to about 16 volts, uh, that should be the end of the, of the power. So I'll be able to kind of basically gauge how much power I have and so I go straight through the uh, breaker right here and that goes to the motor and then that goes to ground okay and so then I'm gonna go this will be the 60 volt step down so I'll be going from 60 to 12 volts and so that'll be fused with a 15 amp fuse and then this will go to my other three fuses um, I'm not exactly sure what the ratings will be I'll have a one three uh, two, maybe, but I'll start low and then whatever trips, I'll just go with that. And so going with the first fuse, I have a brake switch right here, which is actually way mounted way down under here. Can't really see it, but it's actually mounted. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, it's way down here. Um, but right, right here. And it's actually mounted to the cable. And so that um, actually fires up the, uh, it gives power to the brake lights. And so that'll go to ground for the brake lights. And then I have a park switch right here, which will just manually turn that on uh, when it's nighttime. And then this is on the same switch. I'll have a high and a low for the uh, headlight, and that'll go to ground. And then coming over here with the next fuse, I'll have a, uh, this is a uh, heated grips. I originally had two uh, two different a high and a low, but I'm getting rid of the high. It's just it's not needed uh, the low will be fine And so I got the low coming around here, and then this when this is powered. It'll also power this uh, red uh, This red light coming up 
right here. So when you basically flip the switch for the uh, heated grips, uh, this will come on telling you that you're wasting power basically. Um, and then to turn it off if you're, if you're done with it. But uh, that's finished that, so that'll be left grip, right grip, and those are all grounded. Uh, another one coming off of this is the 12 volt outlet. Um, that is a this little little guy right here, and that'll power my uh, heated jacket. Um, and that'll also power the uh, the uh, 12 volt. And I'll probably keep this on here just so that, uh, dust and stuff doesn't get in there. But uh, coming back to this, um, the lighter outlet and the 12 volt outlet right there. Then coming off of here, the last one, uh, I'm going to take that uh, 12 volt power supply for USB comes off right here and that goes to the bottom side of the uh, that USB port and then this goes straight into the radio and the radio also uses the uh, USB uh, extension for all my mp3 files for radio. And you have a, a left speaker, a right speaker and then your uh, remote control and then it's ground. So uh, that should be pretty much it. Um, uh, let's see what I can do. Uh, oh, also one more thing. Uh, I did get a new bell. So that looks kind of cool. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to get as much as I can done this weekend. Oh, one more thing. I also went with a uh, cable system for the, uh, for the uh, pedals here. I don't really pedal very much. And so my goal is to, I have a cable coming off of this right here. Fill focus loops around that, and then that cable comes up, goes around this uh, plastic cable uh, hose right here, and it loops over to the other side and comes down there. And so I can have a little more, a little more even feet placement. And so we'll see how that goes. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, I got quite a bit to do. Uh, I think that's. But it should be pretty good. Some people noticed that uh, it was making a rubbing sound. Um, that's the the cable uh, for the rear tail light actually goes under the fender, and I had it uh, aluminum taped up with like six layers of uh, aluminum tape. But it en it ended up not really sealing. So I'm gonna take everything apart. I got some new cable. I'm going to epoxy that on there so that it doesn't droop down and start uh, giving that weird noise. Um, but uh, thanks for your comments. I'm working best I can trying to get this thing kind of running. Uh, but uh, thanks for all your hits and thanks for watching.